Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, then my name is still Emma. See, I did have visions of filming this like in front of like the Christmas tree and stuff, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's like Jan, no, not January, it's like December 9th, and our tree is still in the box in the attic, so yeah. That ain't happening. But I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory with the title. But today I'm going to be telling you guys what's on my Christmas wish list. So, I mean, if you're nosy, then that's that. But if you like want inspiration for like things to go on your own Christmas wish list, then there's that too. Or if you're my boyfriend and you don't know what to get me for Christmas, pale and this video is for you. Uh, it's not very long, I will admit. Because like, I'm kind of at a point now where I earn my own money. So if I want something, then normally I would just save up for it and go get it myself. And I'm not really as needy as I was when I was like younger, so... Okay, I'll sit here and I'll put photos up of everything in this general area so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. First thing is a Status Anxiety Fall of Hearts bag in tan. Um, you'll see here, it's just like a nice bag and it would fit my laptop and stuff in it. So I'd use it for like uni and stuff next year. And it's also big enough that I could use it as like a weekend bag if I wanted to go like to the beach. Or what have you. I also have a Status Anxiety like shoulder bag and it's literally like... The best investment that i ever made next is king single sheets for uni because next year as you will probably all be aware i am moving out of home to a university and i will have a king single bed not a queen bed so i will need new sheets um as well as a white duvet cover because i like the room's gonna be a lot smaller than this one i'm in right now so i figured that by choosing a white duvet cover it would help the room feel a little bit bigger because your girl's not used to living in a shoebox. Polaroid film. I don't have like a Polaroid camera I used to, but I sold it because the photos just didn't cut it. All these Polaroids behind me, I print out for using my like little Instax printer, which like you just print directly from your phone, which is great because it means you're not wasting film and you only print what you want. But I need Polaroid film obviously to be able to print the photos. So it's like a pretty simple, easy gift. Especially if you've got friends who have a Polaroid printer, you don't want to get them for Christmas or like a Polaroid camera. Definitely would recommend the film. Next up is notebooks. You just can either have too many. And I mean, with uni next year, like, you know, little cute notebooks. I mean, I'm not going to say no. But the Steph Pay, I think it's that. Steph Pay's 2020 Planner. I actually came across this on someone's Instagram. And I was like, whoa, I need this in my life. So, that's that. The Art of Wellbeing book. It's by, I think it's by Meredith Gaston. I have the Art of Kindness book, which is actually sitting like over there. On my bedside table underneath that candle but yeah like the book this, i think it's like the sequel to it or like or whatever it's like similar so yeah new white apple watch band because i've had my apple watch now for like three years and the band you can't really tell but it's like stained blue from my denim jacket like a really light blue and it's this kind of disgusting next up we have a printer because i was thinking about this why is my camera about to stop filming? Okay, sorry, SD card ran out of battery. Oh, battery, no, SD card ran out of space. So let's try that again. Um, where was it up to? Oh, printer. So it came, it like came across me that next year at uni, I will obviously be needing to print stuff because like there's heaps of stuff for like with YouTube especially that I need to be printing out, like organizing and stuff. And I'm just someone who prefers to write things. So like if I want to print stuff and like write notes on it, then you know, that's gonna be better than typing it for me. So it occurred to me that I really don't want to have to be walking to the library to print stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna buy or ask for a printer for Christmas because like you can get like such cheap ink off trade me that I'm like what is the point of paying to print per page because that's gonna work out so much more expensive than actually like the printer's gonna pay for itself pretty much. But next up we have the Sarah's Days Virgo glasses in matte milk. I just think they're so cute. A Matilda Green's book The Feel Good Guide. I've heard really good things about this book and I just want to read it for myself. Bananagrams. It's kind of like Scrabble. It's, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Bananagrams because it's like anagrams. But like, I suck at it, but it's fun. Tommy Jean's Summer Palm Tree Tea is literally just a shirt. I'll put a photo on here. I found on the Iconic. I was like, that's cool. And same with Tommy Jean's Summer Logo Sweatshirt. As you can see, it just looks cool. That is all my Christmas wish list, like, at the moment. And I can tell you right now that it is going to grow. I did have a dog on there, but I took it off because that's kind of been on my wish list for, like, the last three years. And I still haven't got one, and I know I'm not going to get one. So I was like, well, okay, uh, time to give up on that one. That is all for this video. I know it's been a little bit all over the place but I don't really have that much on my wish list and it's all pretty like either really expensive or kind of cheap stuff like there's not really anything in the middle but it's fine but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you made this far in the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already I'd love to have you around here it's free and who doesn't love free stuff merch is obviously still available on my website so if you haven't got some of that then head over there and check it out now and if you haven't checked it out already go have a look I don't know what you're waiting for make someone smile and I'll see you on my next video
love it for me. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero and